Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. In this video, my colleague Thomas Riehle and I would like to show how the collet change works. Here you can see how the robot removes the collet from the pallet provided for it and inserts it into the climbing system. The collets are manufactured with the Pionet system and are fixed by rotating the A-axis by a defined value. The workpiece is then removed from the pallet and placed in the chuck. When machining is finished, the robot removes the workpiece again. Since the next workpiece has a different shank diameter, the collet must now be changed. This can be seen here. Then the blank with a different diameter is inserted and machined. To be able to use the collet change, the following system parts are necessary. The automatic chuck with indexing pin, collets with a flat area for setup and gripping with the robot and a bayonet locking, pallet with indexing pin for bayonet collets, set of radio dial gauges and adjustment device and multi-range gripper fingers for gripping collets and tools. After determining the collet position and automatically measuring the collet pallet and the chuck using a robot manager, you can start defining the bitch. The collet pallet and the collets inserted in it must be defined once. After creating a batch with different pallets and different workpiece diameters, the loader program recognizes when the collet has to be changed on the basis of the entered hole diameters. We, Thomas and I, hope that we have been able to familiarize you with the function collet change with this video. Thank you for your attention. You can find more information about our machines, software, training and customer care on our homepage. Visit us again soon.